Hey, hey, Melissa here from Contemporary Living with Farmer and Hill, and I am not sure whether you watched our last Contemporary Living episode, but Andre did talk about the fact that he and I would be bringing you more content, but not just content, but relevant content, content that matters. And so I really want to commit to doing my part in that and bring you content that matters. And I'm doing that through a program called the Advantage Life. And really the Advantage Life is nothing more than using and multiplying the gifts that God gave you in order to live an advantage life. And along our journey, we do run into some stumbling blocks. And one of those stumbling blocks is debt. I was personally in $27,000 credit card debt. And I remember going to the ATM machine and seeing I had $2.37. So that was my disadvantage life and my journey but with God all things are possible and getting out of debt is possible for you too but one thing you've got to do you've got to be transparent about it because it's so funny I find that we can talk about culture we can talk about politics we can talk about everything else but when it comes to money and debt we are because it's embarrassing it's embarrassing to say that i was once in twenty seven thousand dollars in debt out it was it's embarrassing to say that i once only had two dollars and thirty seven cents until the next payday it was like 10 days 10 days until the next payday but that's real for me and it happened to me and guess what there are people in more dire straits than that and you got to beg, borrow, and steal to get to the next payday. But you don't have to live a life like that. You don't have to live in a life of debt. And that is something that I want to talk about in order to start living the advantage life. So here are some facts. Americans are over $1.5 trillion in debt. That's just real. But if you don't know what $100,000 looks like, a trillion dollars you may may as well be saying a zillion gazillion gabrillion but just know that it's a lot of money we are you know we are a lot we are very much indebted in this country and many countries do not live like that also less than 62 percent of americans have a thousand dollars in their savings account now this may be hit closer to home for you for you do you have a thousand dollars in your savings account can you just snatch it out, give it to someone, not think of it, or have an emergency, snatch it out, use it? Well, less than 62% do. So the likelihood that I'm talking to at least one person who's in that situation, I'm glad you came. Another fact, people have no clue exactly how much they owe in credit card debt. Yeah, I owe $27,000 in credit card debt across i think it was about two or three cars but i didn't have a clue until i started to get serious about my money serious about my debt and that's the same thing you're going to have to do but did you know that there are more payday loan stores than there are mcdonald's in the u.s hmm. they're not going to build it Corporations are not going to just build something and say, I wonder if they'll come. No, they know you better than you know yourself. They know pretty much how many people are going to come, how much money they can expect to get to it. And notice the neighborhoods these payday loans are in. Yeah, they're preying on you, but it's a two-way street. You're allowing them to prey on you. Now, I've never been to a payday loan store, but we know. That it, if you're going to a payday loan store, you are at your last thought that you can change your situation because we know the interest rates they charge are just super duper high, super duper high. And then also debt has been linked to depression. Well, you know, Captain Obvious. Of course, it's going to be linked to depression when you can't pay your bills, when you can't make ends meet, and when you've got responsibility. That shit is going to make you depressed. 
you think it when I had two dollars and thirty seven cents in my account that it didn't make me feel some kind of way? Yes, it did. Do you think when I was just, you know, willy nilly living my life and then realized I need to get my debt under control and then had twenty seven thousand dollars in debt that I had to pay off? You think that didn't make me feel some sort of way? Yeah, of course it did. But we're here, and that's what we have to do. We start being transparent about it. So the next thing is, where do you fit in? So behavior really tells all about your money. Let's take your, one of your 30-day bank statements, and you I can tell you about yourself. But are you rainbows and unicorn? Oh, everything will be okay. You know, like one of those love child or the universe will take care of everything. And very, very, you know, esoteric about the whole thing. Or do you have a just don't care attitude? You know, what will be, will be. Okay, sarah, sarah. You can have that attitude. I just don't care sometimes you're so indebted or and you feel like you can't get out that you're like forget it forget it i'm done it's not going to get any better anyway because you can't see or you could be one of those people that are distracted by hmm, amazon some type of sale they're having partying food lending money to friends and family who aren't going to pay you back there are a lot of distractions in the world that cost for your money so that could be you where do you fit in or there is always an emergency you need money over here you need money over there i mean every time you look around it feels like you can't catch a break <laughs> the funny part about it is as we go into these discussions that you'll learn that that's, that's behavior driven. It's funny. Like, how's my car breaking down behavior driven? And then this emergency. You're right. Things do happen unexpectedly. But there are some people, the unexpected becomes a norm. So there's always an emergency. I'm talking about that. Or are you just living for today? All I got, all I know is I got these 24 hours in this day. I'm going to party like it's 1999 and hey, that's it. But it's so funny how if you're just living for today and then you live to see another day and then a week and then a month and then a year and then a decade and another decade and it just keeps going. So are you just living for today? We all fit in somewhere, and there I'm sure there are things that are not here that you may fit in, but some of you fit into some of these categories. So where do you fit in? So now that you kind of determine where you fit in, what you going to do? Because you have options. You can keep the status quo. You can keep going with your life as is just complaining about it or not doing anything about it or just living for today or waiting for the, the universe to knock on your door and give you what you need or you can take action because see money is intentional money is intentional it's called currency money is moving action Currency. So what are you going to do? Because I want to share this journey with you. And I want to leave you with just four things for now. I want you to find out how much exactly do you make. What do you bring home every week, every two weeks, or whatever. I want you to find out how much do you spend. Look over your last 30-day statement. And just see where the money goes. And I'll leave some categories in this within this video that I post. I'll leave some categories that you can determine how much you spend and where you're spending it. 
like I said, people didn't know how much credit card debt they had. So the third thing I want you to do is know what do you owe? I want you to look at each credit card, the the percentage that you're paying, the APRs, and how much you owe. I want you to look at that. I want you to tally it up and just say overall how much you owe. Like I said, for me, it was $27,000. And what's hitting America now are these student loans. It's crazy. And that can't be erased. Well, they say it can. But the funny part about getting stuff erased is that if you don't change your behavior, the likelihood of you getting into that type of debt again is pretty high. But that's for another episode. And four, meet me back here in a week. Let's take this journey step by step. So just four things for now. How much do you make? How much do you spend? What do you owe? And meet me back here in a week. The time, the exact time and date will be posted on this video. So that's it. That's just small content coming to you that you can use. And remember, communicate, communicate, communicate with us. You can reach us. You can see our show every Thursday, 9 p.m. Central Standard Time, 65 communities in the south suburbs and northwest Indiana. You can every Thursday at 9. I just wanted to make sure I said that again. <laughs> you can see us on Facebook. Hey, if you can't, if you don't have Comcast, because many don't have Comcast, you can always see our show on Facebook. You can reach us by Gmail at Farmer and Hill at gmail.com. That's Farmer and Hill at gmail.com or YouTube, Contemporary Living with Farmer and Hill. As always, thank you for watching. Continue to just connect with us and be brilliant. Be you. Be blessed.